today is going to be the day. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you the tools you need to get started for mapping for gold source games such as Half-Life 1, Counter-Strike, and Sven Co-op. Additionally, I'll link resources related to Quake mapping because most of what I discuss in these tutorials will apply to mapping for Quake as well, but not all of it. The tools shown in this video are my personal recommendations. Tools update all the time. I don't know what I'm talking about. Do whatever you want. There's a whole world out there ready for you to explore it with your hands, ears, and eyes. <laughs> There's a lot of mapping tools out there. Hammer, Jackhammer, Sledge, and Trench Broom. Use Jackhammer. It's good. Hammer sucks. Nobody likes to use it. It comes in Half-Life SDK. Fuck Half-Life SDK. The only people who use it are people who don't know what they're doing. Sledge isn't being developed anymore because Jackhammer is too good. And I don't even think Trench Broom even maps for Half-Life, but if you're mapping for Quake, go for it. Download Jackhammer. Install it. Put it on your computer. Keep it there. We'll get back to it in a second. <laughs> Download Jed's Model Viewer. It runs like a piece of shit and will secretly run copies of itself in the background to drain your computer of its memory, but it's the best we got. It lets you look at models and their animations and lets you replace textures without having to make a big fucking song and dance about it. Download it. Put it on your computer. Done. Oh, look at that. Looks like you need some compile tools. These are the programs that build your map file and turn it into something playable. I don't really understand how they work, just that there are four of them. BSP, CSG, RAD, and Viz. The default ones in Half-Life SDK suck. Fuck Half-Life SDK. Look at Zoner's tools. They're good. They make it look pretty and run better. Look at that. It removes sticky edges. But then this motherfucker CD made some new compile tools, and I guess they're better. They do all this shit, but don't ask me what it means, just trust me. The Russians told me it's good, and it's based on Zoner, so you know it's legit. Make a folder for them. Put them in. So you've got these set up and presumably you have Half-Life installed, because if not, then what the fuck are you doing? Go to Tools and Options, Game Profiles. Here we're gonna add a configuration for a little game you might have heard of called Half-Life. Here you need an FGD file, which stands for Game Data File. This file contains your Barneys, your Kleiners, your guns, your doors, pretty much anything that is in any way dynamic or does anything is located in this file. Select it. Next you want to go where you downloaded those compile tools and add the game data file associated with them. So that's two game data files. Why? Because the tools we downloaded downloaded before add some small features that turn your life from a living hell to a living heaven. Directories, let's fill this out to get our program properly set up. The executable is the file that runs Half-Life. Find it here. It's called hl.exe. The base game directory is the Valve folder, because that's where all the game's files are located. All the maps, sounds, textures, and models are here. You can even go into the folders yourself and check them out. Stop! No mod directory, because we're not making a mod. Yet. Source maps directory is where you want to save your maps. Put it anywhere you want. Ideally somewhere nice. For the model viewer, we use Jed's model viewer. Bam. Done. Textures. These are where the pictures of your floors, walls, and hardcore pornography are stored. Go to the valve folder again and drag them all in. Additionally, add the wad file from CD's tools because it has some extra nice textures to use such as Null and Bavel. For extra points, you can be an asshole like me and custom design your own textures because you're a fucking freak. Build programs. These are the CD's tools we downloaded. CSG is CSG, BSP is BSP, you get the picture. That's it. Bam, 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 bam. That's the hard work done. All that's left to do is open up the editor and get to work. Work. Have fun and uh, catch me on the next one where we talk about how to actually make something. <laughs>